I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss how to represent irrational number on a number line. Question here is explain how can you represent an irrational number on a number line. Irrational numbers means numbers which cannot be written as a rational number. That is to say that a number which cannot be written in the form of m over n, right? It's kind of a fraction. So if you cannot write a number in the form of m over n, it is called irrational number. And the reason is that they are uh, decimal, non-repeating, decimal numbers. Right. So irrational numbers cannot be written as a rational number and the reason is that they are non-repeating decimal numbers. I should say non-repeating and non-terminating. So both properties. So, so if you want to write them as a decimal number, they will be non-repeating and non-terminating decimal numbers. And so we really don't have the exact value of these numbers. However, these numbers are real numbers. So all irrational numbers are real numbers, right? Remember that part. Now give you an, to give you an example, we could think about numbers like square root of 2, right? So square root of 2, square root of 3, these numbers, pi, these are all irrational numbers. So if you try to find their value, you will not get exact value but they all are real numbers. Right, so that's just a background on this. Now the question is, when we don't really know the exact value, then how to represent them on a number line? So this is what we are going to see here in this video. Now let us say this line represents a number line and on this number line, let me say this is 0 and this is 1 unit. Now if I construct 1 unit perpendicular to this, let us say like this, where that is perpendicular. So if I have 1 unit horizontally and 1 unit vertically, which is at right angles, in that case, what is the length of the diagonal? The diagonal length will be 1 square plus 1 square square root, correct? Which is equal to 1 square is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, which is square root of 2. So we actually get exact length of square root 2. Now, if you take a compass, and I am making a rough sketch here, put one end on 0 and the other on the other end of the line segment which represents square root of 2 then this arc represents square root 2 on the number line and so we get square root 2 on the number line since you can show this number on a number line it is a real number so I hope that helps you to understand the concept so we know exactly that this length of the segment is square root 2. Since the two sides formed are of unit length and they are perpendicular to one another, right? Similarly, if I have to construct square root 3, what I can do here is that I can just draw from here at right angles another unit length means this much long, right? So if this is at right angles, then joining these two points will give me length of, this is 1, and this is square root 2. So this length should be square root 2 square plus 1 square square root. And that is equals to square root of 3. Square root 2 square is 2, 1 square is 1. So now this length, let me use 
my compass I'm putting one end here and the other here with that we draw an arc so this line segment will be square root 3 line segment which is equal to our second right triangle do you see that so that is how we can actually represent all the irrational numbers on the number line and these are all real numbers I hope you understand the concept and this will help you to draw or to find exact length with geometrical construction using right triangles. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.